Hello everybody, and today we will be talking about the most iconic F1 circuits and their challenges. Starting off with Monaco. Probably one of the hardest and well-renowned F1 circuits. To have a quick look at the previous winners. It's been fairly spread out with Charles Leclerc from Ferrari, Max Verstappen from Red Bull, Sergio Perez from Red Bull, Max Verstappen from Red Bull, and Lewis Hamilton from Mercedes. The challenges for this for the drivers in this track are the winding and twisting tracks and very few overtaking opportunities. Elevation changes, so when it goes up and down very rapidly. Proximity to barriers, so if you make one lock up or one mistake, you're bound to go into the barriers because of the very little runoff area. Qualifying importance, because there are so little um because there are so little overtaking opportunities. If you qualify in sixth, you're not going to overtake six cars, the chances are. So you need to get be up high up the qualifying order. And then tire management, um, because of the steep turns and downhills, you, the tyres will wear out very quickly, so you need to focus on your pit strategies and try and perform undercuts and overtakes where appropriate, and weather conditions. That's quite self-explanatory, the weather can change drastically and because it's all on a hill, it will all gather at the bottom, making a big stand, making standing water on the track, leading to yellow cars, yellow flags, safety cars, red flags and potentially the intermediate and wet tyres being put on. So that's Monaco. Next thing's next, the Suzuka circuit, which is in Japan. Previous winners, the 2024 Grand Prix has not been raced yet. We've just done Hungarian Grand Prix and we're just about to do the Belgian Grand Prix sometime soon. 2023 was Max Verstappen, 2022 was Max Verstappen, and in 2021 and 2020 there was no race due to COVID-19. And the challenges for the drivers of this circuit are as followed. The technical and complex layouts, so all very twisty and turning with the F chicanes and going up and down. Iconic corners, named corners, quite cool. Elevation changes, ups and downs, narrow track and little runoff area. So make one mistake, you're off the track, you're onto the pebbles and you're into the barriers. That's your race over, retired. Weather variability, so because it's in Japan it can be one moment sunny, the next storm, so you can go from the sort of slips to wets and intermediates, making pit stops go boop, out the window. And that ties in with pit strategies. And then there's the high speed corners where you can overtake from the outside, you don't really want to be slowing down all that much, making it quite dangerous. Tire management, once again with those high speed corners, it burns the rubber really, really quickly. So you need to ensure that your pit strategy is on point to make sure that there aren't any places where teams can undercut you. And then your overtaking tactics. Are you going to go around the outside, inside, passing along? Are you going to hang back so you get DRS and then whoop with DRS and the DRS protection zones? You would need to decide that. And then finally, Circuit de spa francorchamps Belgium. This is the next Grand Prix, I'm very excited for it. So the previous winners here in 2024 have not been raced yet, obviously. 2023, 2022 and 2021 with Max Verstappen, 2020 with Lewis Hamilton. It's important to note that in the 2021 Grand Prix, the rain, this race was heavily disrupted by rain and only a few laps were completed not behind the safety car, making this one of the shortest F1 races ever. Challenges for the drivers include their iconic corners, so the named corners, like the several times cars have crashed and gone off. Pit strategies, when do you pit, when do you stay out, overtaking, undercutting. Variable weather conditions, slips one moment, wet to the other, inters, mediums, hards. Circuit length and layout, lengthy circuit, and the layout's quite twisty, and turny and complex. Elevation changes include stuff like going up, going down, going left, banking up, going right, banking down, etc, etc. And then long straights make for great DRS zones, so if you have DRS, you're bound to be overtaking. And there are the high speed corners, which I think are 
pretty dangerous. However, there are quite a few of them where you need to go meow instead of slowing down and hitting the apex. You're just going whoop, not on a racing line. So that's quite cool. And that brings us to the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below in the comments box. I very much appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you next time for maybe some more 4v1 insights or something else. Bye!